Hey guys, Sahel here, and today we're going to be drawing ice wings from Wings of Fire. Uh, I apologize because I'm a little bit sick today, so I'm sorry if my voice comes out a little bit scratchy. So, without further ado, here's your heavily requested ice wing tutorial. How coincidental that I'm drawing cold dragons, and I have a cold right now. <laughs> so let's start out by dividing your page. So you divide it into four parts. They don't have to be totally equal, just do it roughly. Now draw a circle, or part of a circle on the bottom, and one around the top. This is your head and body circle. Connect them with a C and an S for the neck shape. Do the snout. Now ice wings, their snouts are actually a little bit short, but you can make them as long as you want. The horns on the back are straight like a nightwings. Now make a line parallel to the bottom to create the underbelly and draw in the arms. Now draw a triangle for the ear. Divide the face into three sections like usual. And on the bottom section, use it to draw the mouth. Now this time we're actually going to use the top section and sketch the base for the armor and the head, head armor scale thing. Similar to in the uh, mud wings. Now, go in with a darker color on another layer or with another pencil or pen and start working on the eye. This should be made on the center of the circle of the head. So you can develop the eye however you want based on your style. I'm going to use my usual cartoony style here. Just have the character staring at the viewer with a bit of an arrogant expression. Draw a backwards check mark, an indent, and go down to complete the head armor scale thing. This is very similar to a mud wings, except you don't have the nostrils on top. So you can smooth it off with like a tape or at the bottom of it. Correct any lines. And go back to start developing the jaw. So I'm going to have this character grinning a little bit. I'm going to move that down because it cut off at the top a little bit too. And you can draw on your expression. Correct the mouth if you need to. Uh, just whatever looks right to you. Draw a check mark and another check mark inside, both in the nostril and that flap of skin that ice wings have. Or scales. Flap of skin. Okay, that sounds weird. Develop the jaw. Have it go in a slight curve upwards on the bottom, and then curl up to meet the face. Go back and correct any lines or the expression or whatever if you need to. Now draw the horns. They shouldn't be very parallel, but don't have them go toward each other too fast. Their taper is rather gradual. Connect that to the head armor scales thing and start to work on the ear. Trace over your ear shape and adjust if necessary. Add a small curve inside to develop it and give it that nice 3D shape. Correct any lines necessary and keep working. For the rough, draw in the three starter bases similar to the ones that I used in the Rainwing tutorial video, linked in the end cards in a tutorial playlist, along with the Nightwing and Mudwing videos. Correct your lines, and go in again, in between the ones you just drew, and draw some more rough spines. Rough spines. Rough, I don't even know. So, keep going, and gradually build more and more spines, Although, you probably don't want to bypass 15. So, draw just enough so that it looks covered, but don't draw too many. 
I see this mistake in a lot of uh, beginner ice wing art is that they add way too many spines and there's like 25 of them on the face so I think 15 less than 15 is a good number trace over your neckline and develop the back of the neck correct your lines and trace over your arm shape these are like weird dilated rectangles of sorts complete the lines and start working on the scales people think ice wing scales are rather hard and they are a little bit tricky but once you get the hang of them they can be very easy draw a triangular looking scale on the bottom first this is your first layer of scales just have them build off of each other, just like that. Your next layer of scales will be very, very sharp. So, draw that. They shouldn't bypass the next scale, but they should be relatively longer compared to the other one. Now with a pattern similar to that you used in the first row of scales, do up the third. The only strange scale to pattern here is the second one, so otherwise they should all be very very uniform. The last layer might be a little bit smushed behind there, but it's also very similar to the first layer. Sometimes I have my bend backwards a little bit because there's not enough room. Now this is your ice wing line art. We're going to go in and start drawing the spines on the back now. So starting at the head, you can start building that nice sharp ice wing spine line. Spine line. Okay. And keep developing it, developing it down the back, passing through the rough. Just keep going. It's okay if they cut off the paper. Just now you have that. Some people like theirs in the back longer, but I'm doing them short here, so it looks a little bit less messy. If you want, you can go in with a thinner brush and start to develop the scale pattern on their head armor scales. Very similar to the Mudwing. Oops, my hand slipped. So very similar to the Mudwing scale pattern. You just draw a line parallel to the bottom for both sections. And then you add in perpendicular lines that kind of curve with the movement of the head scales. Just like that. Process over, process over, process over, process over. And you just keep doing that until you cover up the entire head. They shouldn't be too far spaced apart, but they shouldn't be too close together either. And there you have it. That's your Ice Wing line art tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed this video and perhaps maybe you learned something. Uh, thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other playlist with all the other tutorial videos I've made, which includes Nightwing, Rainwing, and Mudwing so far, linked in the end cards 